Woo! Look at that, that's still hair there, sort of. Still hair. Well, it's uh, Thursday and we did three hills. That means three miles and six hills. Today on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. I've got help with me today. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurer. That's right. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers, Dealer and Samuel here with the Crazy Picker Life, Thursday in the office edition. Well, we got some bites on the boxing setup and the other exercise thing that I can never remember the name. I have a, a block, a mental block towards any exercise equipment bought on TV. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But uh, we'll see if we can sell one or two of those today. Hello, Elizabeth. I hear that you got your training earrings out and you have some new ones in today. What do we have? Butterfly rainbows. Oh, very pretty. Okay, are you guys going to go play games? No. No? You're going to help me pack these orders? Yes! Oy. Okay, well, we've got uh, four orders for my new 50% off move all the stuff out sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hard to do that. Don't sit here and photobomb me. It's hard to do that. I like to wait and get, you know, premium dollars. I'm not against waiting, but I put 430 out of almost 800 items on 50% off last night. So we've got four sales, and of course, the stuff that's going to go first is the stuff that I'm going to go, oh, maybe I shouldn't have did that. But it saves me from moving it, and I can find better stuff, and I can get out picking sooner. So I got to keep the I got to keep the pro side going here, and I'm still making money because I buy stuff generally for better than uh, double on average, even though a lot of these are dogs. So let me get packing and stop mumbling. We're gonna list some items tonight. I'm a little behind on a few items in the shop. I'm gonna get those all listed tonight. Stay tuned for more fun. Two totes going out. I've got uh, two UPS right now, and I think I'm probably four or five orders down, some of those being UPS. The uh, 400 items I put on sale at 50% off, are starting to click in. I think I'm at 10, 10 sellout items already, and some of them are big in size, so that's good. And I just I have to do it. I, I'm struggling with it. I've always struggled with the idea of liquidating or, or any any items, and I just have to realize that this move makes it happen, it makes sense, and I'm making money, and I'll find more good stuff. Keep saying that to yourself, dealer. Dealer do not like to liquidate. I do not like to liquidate. <laughs> uh, so, off to the post office. Then I gotta run around a little bit, run home, run back to the office. Somebody's coming to look at the punching bag. There's a big, there's a big brawl fight over the punching bag. Everybody wants the punching bag, so I have a feeling that's gonna go today. Not so much uh, interest in the Bowflex, but we'll just discount it, whatever it takes. Did you mean this one and this one? Well, that's the speed bag, the little one, and then the big one's the heavy bag. And then there's some gloves, so we got somebody coming to look at it, don't we? Right? Yep. We're going to see if we can make a deal for Wheeler. All right, got to put the Jeep back here. As you can see, the punching bag is gone. Punching gloves are gone. I got to do something with that container, I guess. And the Vitamix still remains, or whatever this thing is. <laughs> Bowflex. It's not a Vitamix, it's a Bowflex. So, not as many bites on that. We'll reduce the price over time, whatever. It will go for whatever it goes for eventually. Uh, I've been given the green light on 
listing this beauty locally. We're going to try 15 bucks. Take it home so I don't have to wait around here during the day. We'll take it home and let somebody come buy that. I've got this uh, big valve that's been sitting around that I thought was cool that I picked up somewhere along the way. I'm going to list that. We're in a uh, farming community, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of big valves out here. And what else? One other thing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to list this and see, see if somebody wants. See if there's a Miller Lite fan around here that needs a cork board. So 15, 15, 15. We'll entertain offers on any of those. And we'll just... Whoop. There's my screen. There we go. We'll get those sold. So that's what we're going to do out here. I also got some test strips in. I got those listed. Two of them sold already. So I got four in at 12 bucks each and sold two at 54 each on Amazon. Obviously, I've got some expenses with postage back and forth and money orders and things like that from my my peoples, but those one touch ultra hundreds and then from there i got some miscellaneous mismatch to do my sale is going very well my 50 percent off 430 item sale i think we're at 10 or 12 or more items sold already on that so i got a lot of packing to do tonight i think it's going to be list an item pack an item and i think i'm just going to show the the listing, I'm a little depressed about the stuff that's selling because <laughs> it's not really going cheap, but it's going for less than it should. So <sighs> you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Just sell it. Quick being so sentimental. It's really not that. I just I like to get the right amount for my stuff. It's a different strategy, right? Okay, so downside about the uh, selling stuff locally, it's just what I thought. This lady said, you know, I'll be there at a time, and then she moved it up this morning, and then she didn't show up, and so she was a half hour late, 40 minutes late, and I got a bunch of other stuff done. I just kept running around doing stuff, throwing stuff out, and moving stuff home, and all that kind of stuff, but... You know, it's that's that's the downside with eBay for the most part. I mean, you got to answer some questions from time to time, but usually you put it up there right, and then it's just live, and that's it. You sell it when you sell it. I like that. I'm babied. I'm I'm uh, I'm used to that. All right, let me get my Jeep inside and get organized, and we'll start listing a few things. Okay, let's start listing. Here is a PT19 flight trainer. You need to put an engine in there. This is by Cox. You need a starting kit. You need a, an engine. So this is just the kit. Let's see. Uh, I better read it a little bit. I'm not sure if there's an engine in there or not. I'm gonna have to look. Anyway, pay ten bucks. We'll list that for one forty nine ninety nine plus shipping. That helps with throwing out the dice. Here's a puzzle, Ravensburger 3D puzzle, 540 piece version. I'm gonna list it for $29.99 plus shipping and let it run. There are lesser numbers of pieces, puzzles out there for less. So you gotta make sure to put that in the title. And if you try to sell them on Amazon, apparently Ravensburger has a contract of sorts with Amazon you have to get approved and then you need to be some sort of a vendor and have receipts and all that kind of stuff. I've kind of been around the block with some of that before. Some of it's doable, some of it's not on Amazon. This one uh, I'm not going to pursue. I'm going to put it on eBay for $29.99 plus shipping. Number whatever. <laughs> I don't remember because I listed four test strip boxes then I assisted in listing three local items and then I listed two other items. What's that? Four plus three plus two. This is number 10 already? Oh, I gotta keep going. So here's a helmet that we picked up in uh, Hayes, Kansas at the race. After the race we went to the local uh, thrift store there, right down there, downtown Hayes. Picked this up for 20 bucks plus some tax. So, um, Arthur 
Fulmer helmets are pretty good because they're vintage, most of them I guess. This is a Fulmer Ranger, a uh, little newer, great shape. So I've really got to uh, talk up the foam is good, the straps are good, everything looks good, the visor is good. Helmer, helmet's got some scratches. You guys will, uh, that are kind of childish uh, humor like me, childish high school humor, don't get too crazy though, but there was a sticker on there and I removed it and then I've become a pretty good helmet buffer. I got a little juice on the uh, little uh, D sticky juice on there and buff the helmet. Looks good, don't it? So, uh, medium. I'm going to list it for either $39.99 plus shipping or $49.99 plus shipping. And wait for a rainy day. Right, Wheeler? Da, 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 da. Hasselblad, yeah. The Hasselblad juggler with two items. What? Oh my gosh. How much, is that, how much did that cost me? Not in there. They're not in there. No, that's what I'm saying. Unfortunately, those would be 150 each if they're in there. We have two empty boxes. So you're coming here to taunt me? How much are the boxes worth? I don't know. Sell them for a pair. Each? Oh yeah? Are you going to yeah. sell them? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? This for the picture for uh, the auction? Or, or how about that? Tell me which one you like in the comments below, and I'll use it. Wheeler, which one did you like? Oh, he's still <laughs> juggling those things. Oh, your vote is in. Yeah. Okay, I've been using that eight pound uh, Reebok thing. I've been doing some uh, shoulder rehab moves. I got a bad shoulder on the rotor cuff, so I've been doing some shoulder moves with that. I've been doing some push-ups and sit-ups and side bends. So here's a new challenge to you. I'm gonna do that. I've been doing this on and off for a while, but I'm gonna get more serious about it. Um, I don't know, it links a little bit of a, what do you call it? Uh, it's not really emotional response, but some sort of a reason to list more and pack more. Every time I pack something and list or and or list something, I do a, a rep, a set of reps. So like sit-ups, I'm doing 20. Push-ups, I'm just doing five because I'm weak as crap. My shoulder's been bad for about three years and finally getting better. So I'm uh, I'm working that and I do the the different lifts and the side bends and all that kind of stuff. That adds up. There you go. And then, <laughs> if you're like me, you want to put it back on. So you got to do that. Didn't mean to burst anybody's bubble. My last item tonight is this explosion proof light. It's about 10 inches from top to bottom, 6 inch diameter on the uh, cage here. One thing that I do when I take my pictures, and you probably do it as well, is put some sort of a ruler out. I like to use this tape measure because it's very bright and you can see the numbers. If you're using something that isn't bright and people have to squint or zoom in or whatever, uh, you need to get something bigger numbers and brighter. I could actually get something bigger than that now that I think about it. Duh, right? I'm going to list this. Uh, I paid $24. I'm going to list it at $100 or $99.99 plus shipping to start with. All right. We've got uh, some chicken scratch on here. Bottom line is $5.91 and $11. Boy, I'm telling you. Do those push-ups and sit-ups a little at a time. Pretty soon you'll be thin like me. No. Huge like me. No. Old like me. No. I don't know. Just, you know, do a little exercise, but consult your physician first. <laughs> I gotta start putting disclaimers in, right? Dealer told me to do 100 million push-ups. Oh, I'm, my arm is bigger than the other. 591.11. All right, I hope Wheeler can make our number off that, right? So, um, too many orders to pack. I just couldn't pack them all. I tried to do one listing, one packing. 
I know it's really tough, right, having all these orders. Well, 50% off sales working. Some of them ain't making much money, like <laughs> a couple bucks. Ah, oh, whatever. It don't matter. It's all good. Ew, I never liked that saying. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I guess there's times where it's all good. Tomorrow's Friday, Friday edition. Oh, I don't know. Topic? Oof. Let me know if you want a topic. Maybe I'll read some comments before uh, before topic time, I think. Other than that, tomorrow's kind of a catch-up day. Be a good day for a topic. We gotta do a question and answer here pretty soon too. I don't think we can do a topic and then a question and answer, can we? I suppose we could. Saturday's gonna be a big work at home day. Gotta try to finish that tile, but before I do that, I'm hoping to fix that sink. I've been putting that off and pull some cupboards off and clean some stuff out down there, but all moving in the right direction. That's what's got to happen. Pick well list off and thanks for watching. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer production.